Yo, what's up guys? It's time to do some more trading at Trade Hangout. Since last time we've actually made a lot of trades and a bunch of new limited items have come out, but also a lot of my items actually ended up dropping and I ended up losing a lot of value. Last time we finished with a total of 1,421,000 value, but now we're all the way down to 1,397,000. So we ended up losing about 20 something K. I still have the classic fedora, the Valkyrie helm, the super super happy face, two dominus forms, three black iron horns, and two playful vampires, and a bunch of other small items. I'm sure you guys know already a bunch of new limited items have come out, so basically I'm just going to be holding a bunch of them. Right now I have a few of the Gucci cloaks, I have a few of the football helmets, and a few of some of the other items. So I'm pretty much just going to be holding them and hope they go up. But here are the trades that are completed. In this trade, I upgraded into the Midsummer Horns with some smalls. In this trade, I just did a one for one. Here, I downgraded my Pink Galaxy Gaze for the Roblox Madness base and the King of New Calxia. Here, I upgraded into the Legit with a bunch of different wrap items. Here, I just did another one for one trade. Here, I upgraded into Legit again. In this trade, I upgraded a bunch of my wrap items and some Robux with a really embarrassed face. This one was actually a really good trade since the Agrachnophobia is actually a little bit projected. Here, I upgraded my KSI crown and some Robux into the Candy Cane Bow, and I got a pretty nice win here. In this trade, I downgraded my really embarrassed and I got a nice overpay. I got about 900. Here, I downgraded my Skate Niner Boy for two of the football helmets and some Robux. In this trade, I upgraded into one of the Gucci St. Francis cloaks, which since I traded for it has gone up a lot. Here I upgraded into the Neon Bombastic Animal Hoodie with some, with some event items and some Robux. And finally, in this trade, I downgraded my Deluxe Ninja Sword Pack for a bunch of wrap items. I don't even know if I'm still going for Rex at this point. I feel like the way that the market is right now, it wouldn't really be a good idea. So I might try to downgrade some of my items. So this guy at Trade Hangout sent me a trade. He sent me this egg for his noob attack. Even though I'm losing, I'm just going to accept it and kind of help him out. So I'll just take that. Hopefully that gets him on his way and he can start making some more trades now. Legit is 11, right? Well, I kind of want the Gucci thing. So uh, I'm getting 600. Why not? I mean, I know Legit is going to go back up to 12. I'll still take it because I, I just want the Gucci stuff. Elven Princess is whatever, but honestly, I just really wanted the uh, the Gucci. So I just took it. Why not? So I actually managed to make a few more trades. In this trade, I gave my Legit, the Drill Sergeant, and the Gucci Diagnosis bag for the Green Wistful Wink and the Queen Elizabeth. Then I traded my Sorcerer's Top Hat, which I actually got a snipe on. As you can see right here, I actually ended up buying it for only 3,000 Robux. And I traded it away for over 5,000, so that's definitely really good. And in this final trade, I downgraded my Madness Face for the Super Duper Fly Cap, the Legit, and the Green Bandit Top Hat. And since then, my account actually got banned, so I haven't made any trades. But I was looking for my inbound trades, and I found this one. It's the Green Bandit Top Hat and the Green Wistful Wink for the Super Fly Cap. So it's 36,000 for 35. And the Green Wistful Wink looks like it might actually drop. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and accept this trade. Even though I'm overpaying 1k, like I said, the Wistful is probably going to drop. So let's just take that one. Great way to start it off. So let me go into Trade Hangout now. I just found this guy with the Beast Mode, so I'm going to see if maybe I can upgrade into it it would actually be a really nice item so i think i'm going to send him the black iron horns the super duper fly cap and the cincinnati Bengals helmet for the beast mode so i'm overpaying about 4k this guy just asked me if i wanted to do two playful vampires for his beast mode yeah he sent me a trade where i overpay 15k i'm just gonna decline that there's also a new picture of the next trade hangout that i actually haven't shown yet so the owner of trade hangout just posted a sneak peek of it and this is what it's supposed to look like i think it's actually really cool it looks like it might be like on a skyscraper or some kind of building and it looks really futuristic i think everybody's been waiting for a new trade hangout so i'm really excited for that this guy is offering on my super super happy face so i'm gonna see what he ends up sending so this is what he ended up sending it's the blue bubble trouble green bubble trouble catching snowflakes and about 2,500 Robux. I'm gonna counter and make him add his other item and take off the Robux and just send that. All right, this guy just came up to me and screamed that he wanted to trade at me, so let's see what he actually wants to trade. He said he wanted my Valk, so I kinda wanna see what he's gonna offer. He said he's gonna do Blizzard Beast Mode, Jacko Bandit, and something else, so I'm gonna see what that something else is. This trade on Valk, which is about 6K overpay, but honestly, I'm looking for a little bit more, so I think I'm gonna counter with a little bit more and just send that. So he counted me back without the Robux, so I'm gonna see if maybe I can get a little bit of Robux and see what he says about that. I'm gonna do like 1500 and send him. And this guy also just sent me a trade, so I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. So this is what he ended up sending me. I think I'm just gonna counter it. So I'm just gonna send him a bunch of wrap items and some Robux for the neon green. So he counted with only 200 Robux. He just said he doesn't have any Robux, so I guess I'll counter with some different items. This is what I'm going to end up sending. I would be getting at about 11k overpay. So I'm just going to go ahead and send him this trade. 
and hopefully he actually takes it. Based on the proofs, it looks like Valk is getting around 8k, and the trade that I have inbound right now is about 9k, so I think I'm actually going to go ahead and accept it for the Blizzard Beast Mode, Radioactive Beast Mode, Core Block Shoulder Pauldrons, and the Teal Mermaid Queen. I've had this Valk for so long and I really just want to get rid of it, so I'm happy to accept this one. That's awesome, we finally got rid of the Valk. I mean, I've literally had it for months now, so I'm happy that I could trade it off. So this guy offered me his Dominus form, so I'm going to go ahead and counter the trade he sent. He's asking for a little bit too much, so I'm going to see what else I can do. This is where I'm going to end up sending. It's about 4.5k for form. With the Black Iron Horn, Super Duba Flycap, Elven Princess, Cincinnati, and the 1000 Robux. So I'm just going to send that. So this guy just sent me a trade on my form, so I'm going to see what he actually ended up sending. He sent the form and legit for Blue Bubble Trouble, Green Bubble Trouble, and Catching Snowflakes. It's only a 3k overpay, so I'm going to see if I can get more. So instead of legit, I'm going to do a few wrap items and just send that. I have a couple more trades inbound, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and decline both of them. We didn't end up making too many trades this episode, but we made some pretty big trades, which is even more important. So hopefully for next episode, I don't get banned again and I can actually make some more trades. But right now we're at 1,434,000 value and about 1.3 million wrap. Let me know what you guys thought of the trades and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.